welcome. How you doing? If you watched my last video, we had started pattern making and sampling the vest for my two-piece mini collection. I guess is what I'm gonna call it, even though it's just two pieces. Um, and today we're gonna start pattern making and sampling the pants. So that is the goal for today. But first things first, we have to get a good morning in before we get to the studio. So I already did my workouts this morning. It was kicking my butt, literally. And now I'm going to make some food. So if you didn't know, I live on a farm and yesterday was harvest day. So we got some goodies here. So typically I buy my fabrics from my Miami supplier, I've talked about this before, and so I asked him to send me some samples of some like rayon linens, linens, cotton linens, that range of uh, samples that he would send me and the package arrived today. So when we get to the studio, we shall have a package to open. He wasn't lying when he said he stuffed this into a tiny package. Because there was three yards of white silk that I ordered on top of the scraps. And he really squished it in there. He managed. But you know what? It's okay. Okay, so for these samples, we have a nice little white linen. Or oh, he didn't tell me. I don't know what exactly these are made out of. I'll ask him when I decide. Ooh, I really wanted a brown. I like this brown. This is that like it's like a jean kind of looking one. Really pretty light green. I for sure want this brown. I really hope he has a lot of it. These are my top three: the brown, the white, and the navy. I'm still going to go to the fabric store and just see what I find tomorrow. If you watched my last video, you would see that I buy my basic blocks on Etsy. Um, like my basic top and basic pants so that I could have um, inclusive sizing. So these pants and the top that I had range from extra small to a 6X. So I have the basic pants here. They're not necessarily basic pants, they kind of have like pockets and stuff, but I'm just going to use like the basic, the pant and the waistband. And I'm going to drape, not drape, I'm going to flat pattern some pleated trousers. So they're going to have two pleats, some exposed pockets, um, like a button clasp on the waistband, straight leg, no back pockets. In my first video of this series, I showed you how I made like the flat technical sketch of it so go check that out so you can see like what we're going for but let's just get straight into the pattern making I think that I want the pants to be basically the same width and everything the only thing that we're messing with is the top so I want there to be a zipper fly in the front and typically I would do like this is a way you could do it where you could add the zipper fly to the pattern like this like attached and you would like fold it over but I honestly think that I don't really love doing it this way because trying to surge this little piece right here that curve is so annoying so I think I'm gonna create a separate pattern piece to attach to right here so it's just like that because it's just gonna fold over anyways so it's like 
Now for the dart, or not the dart, for the pleats, there is a dart here. So typically, so we're going to turn this, this little dart into a pleat, but I want two pleats. So I want to add an inch on the side here so that I can make another pleat. I'm going to connect these lines. So this is a pair of pants that I'm kind of referencing the style that I like. So this is where one pleat is going to be, right where that dart is, and the next one an inch over. So this is one pleat, and this is the second pleat. They're all going to fold over this way. Now I want to add side pockets, like exposed side pockets. So I'm going to mark two inches in, and about seven and a half inches down from that line. So from here to here, it's seven and a half. So this piece now is gonna get cut off and this is gonna be the front pattern piece. And this separate piece is gonna be a part, a separate pattern piece that is going to be for the inside pocket. So this is basically done super simple. And I'm gonna cut off this. I'm gonna save this. And you would add seam allowance on here. Now for the parker, we're gonna take this piece here. I'm gonna trace it out. And now we're gonna turn this into the po a pocket. This is gonna be from that edge four and a half inches. Then from there, we're gonna go like So we have one side of the pocket done. This is a side that's going to attach like this. And so that inside pocket will be on the inside and they're gonna attach right here at this top stitch. But now we're gonna make the piece that's gonna so wanted here that will flip inside and to actually have like you know a pocket it's basically going to be this exact shape so i'm actually going to keep this as like both pattern pieces so whenever i need to cut out this piece i just fold this over and just cut out this exact piece with some seam allowance and the second piece will just be this so I have two pattern pieces in one. Actually, I think I am going to add the extra flap in front so that it folds over and has a nice fold and not a seam in the front. So I decided to just kind of make this a curve instead of a really sharp, like, because that's just like a, a design that you top stitch on. You have two pieces for the fly. You have the one that is attached to this and then the separate one that is going to be, and this piece is going to be attached to the other side for the other side of the zipper. I'll show y'all. For the back piece, all I want to do is add some more length to the waist since it is going to be like uh, elastic in the back and we're not going to add the dart it's just going to be elastic this is going to kind of ruch up
I put these other ones on so that I wasn't naked. And so they look good. Um, the only thing is I think I'm just going to move the darts over just a smidge. And then I can't decide if I like this width of the, or like this width, yeah, I guess, of the pants. Like, fitted <laughs> compared to these ones that are very baggy. But I don't like them this baggy. They're like super baggy. But I just want them like a smidge more baggy, I think. So I think I'm just going to add to the pattern a little bit on the sides. And I'm going to cut it out of that my next final fabric. The pants and the vest to see it together and see if I like it. So let's get that going. the vest and the pants and they look really good I had bought this fabric because I liked it to make this set out of but it literally looks like muslin and it's kind of itchy it's a polyester I just wanted to make basically make this sample but it's like itchy and the color is not I'm not aiming for a set that is all this color anymore. I wanted it, but now I, I'm, it looks like a mental institute outfit. I don't know. Like, let me take my hair down to see. Perfect. So here is the vest. Obviously, it doesn't have the buttons or anything. It fits so nice. I'm obsessed. And it has the tie. I think the tie is too short and I'm I'm gonna try and find a buckle. I think a buckle might look nicer or the pretty deep. And the back has the waistband. I still need to put the pleats I think farther this way. I don't know how I keep ending up putting the pleats close together. Alright, that is it for today. Um, it is 9 o'clock. But we got a lot of work done. I am happy with the, how the set is looking. I'm really going to sit on the pants. Like how, if I like them like this. Or if I want to do more flare. Hey guys, future Veronica here. So I lied. I actually did make some changes because I, after staring at them for... A long time I was like no so I wasn't liking how the waistband was looking all like bunchy so I did like a top stitch uh, just like I did two on the waistband so that it looks more like neater and it still stretches which is what I was like confused about I was like will it still stretch and it does so we did that these are still the samples, but I just wanted to see how it looked like. And then I am lowering the waist an inch because I, I just felt like it was really high up. So basically it's just it's gonna be like this instead, like just an inch below. And I think I'm gonna widen the pants just a smidge more on the sides. Um, I, I adjusted all of that on the patterns. I haven't made a new sample, but I like, these samples are just full of tape. But I added like the extra piece of paper and then I lowered the waistband and then lowered, um, everything as well. Like I lowered the fly with it as well. Like I didn't cut, uh, 
the fly and left it where it originally was an inch up, I lowered it. And then I lowered the pocket too so that it all like stays the same but um, just literally all moves an inch below. And then on the vest, I ended up taking off an inch also. I made it just a, like an inch higher. So it was like slightly more cropped. Um, and yeah, let's get back to past Veronica. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe because in the next video, we're going to start fabric shopping and sourcing. So you don't want to miss out. This piece or this little mini collection, I guess, is really coming together and it's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great night. Bye-bye.